Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me how to explain the golden rule, which I never had even heard of. But I searched it on the internet and found out the ratios and and what you would do with it and how you could draw it. You know, mathematically, the ratio of, of turning a drawing a curve and pretty easy. And I'm going to use millimeters because the, the figures of 34 inches would be way too big. But I just drew a box that was 34 millimeters. So I'm just going to kind of start off. I'm not going to finish the whole thing because I want to draw the uh, the curvature. So I'm going to control D and move it over. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to divide it by 1.618. And then I'm going to put that box right here and have it snap to that corner. Con Whenever you control D again, divide that by 1.618 and you get this box and then put it here. So you'll basically, if you want to keep it going, you'll have to find this off the internet. Uh, there's several ones, and this one's probably the best one. But I've already got one drawn out, so here's how you would draw the curve. And I'm going to convert all these lines to black because I draw everything else in circles. And I started thinking how to draw this arch. Well, uh, it, well, this is how I figured it out. Just I went... Uh, it's 34, so I made it 68 millimeters. Whoop. And, and then actually you can take this arch and make it an arc and then make it 90 degrees. It just happens to be in the right. And we're just going to move that arch to right there. Now for the video, I'm not going to take a lot of time, but I happen to get it perfect. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Using this handle, I'm going to flip it. Now with the pick tool, I'm going to grab that corner and have it snap to there. Control D and make a duplicate, grab this handle. Let me zoom in here so you can see this. I don't know that I would ever use this, but you want to get where you get that two-sided handle. Grab that, control D. Move it over. Click on it till you get. You don't want that X. You want that two two arrowed him uh, two two sided arrow. Control D and make a duplicate. Flip it the other way. Get that arrow. And I guess if you had to copy somebody's logo that had used this, get that arrow. Whoop. So you need the two, well, why didn't it work this time? There we go. Control D and make it, a lot of times it'd be better to hit the plus sign on your keyboard. That didn't work. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Get where I get the, Two line and arrow. You know what? Well, I didn't. I don't have all the boxes in there. So really, truly, you don't even have to have all the boxes. But continuing on, you could uh, put the smaller boxes in there, and that's what it's going to look like. So what you could do is take all the blacks away, and I'm not going to take them away because I might play with it later. I'm going to nudge it out of the way. So I'm just taking all the boxes away. And that's what your curve's gonna look like. I guess that's the golden rule. We'll make it black and we'll actually make it a little thicker so you might be able to see it a little bit better. But that's called the golden rule. And you can see the lines between it where I join, but you can always go to object and combine and those lines go away. Pretty, a pretty cool little thing to play with and then control D and make a duplicate and mirror it down the other way and you started a, a pattern there. Anyway, 
hope that it helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.